this one looks exactly like you. <laughs> Let's have a look at this one. Let's have a look at this monster. Look at him. Now, welcome to this week's video. We are going to introduce you to Bowie's six puppies. Bowie here is a street dog who was on the streets of Thailand. She obviously doesn't look like a street dog. That's because she's a husky and she was abandoned about six weeks ago. We managed to rescue her, but she had a big secret inside her. We didn't know when she came in here that Bowie was pregnant. What I wanna do is sit with him and tell you some of the wonderful things that have happened over the last month. We're gonna tell you the puppy's names. We're gonna tell you about some of the struggles that mom is having and is still having, and we're gonna tell you about their homes as well. So without any further ado, let's go and sit with the puppies. Now, one thing that would help us massively as I bring these puppies in, to the container is if you could subscribe to this video, it really does make all the difference. I can't explain how hard this video is to make. The puppies have all got a mind of their own, but yes, a like and a subscribe would help us massively. Now we've started, and of course the puppies have all decided they would like lunch. So you can see how much pressure poor mom has been under Bowie. They never give her a second's break. Um, four weeks to the day, she's had these puppies and I'll show you what size they are in a minute but I just wanted to kind of talk you through everything that that mom has had to go through you can't actually see um, maybe you can see on the camera but she's very thin and we really noticed that yesterday when we gave her a big wash her body has been under unbelievable pressure um, with these puppies and not surprisingly they're so they're so big they've grown from nothing to little chunk monsters in the last four weeks but just to let people know who didn't know Bowie was actually living on the streets when we found her and she arrived here pregnant we didn't know she was pregnant until about two days before she gave birth and that's because you, her stomach like a dog's stomach when they're pregnant obviously will swell up a little bit but only in the late stages and because she's so fluffy and she was so thin when she arrived here and so malnourished, we didn't actually know that she was um, pregnant. But these little chunk monsters all came out. She's trying to get away from them, which is absolutely fine um, because they're so, okay. So obviously the camera has been knocked over quite a lot. Oh. Well, that was the most chaotic thing that I've ever seen. Uh, we tried to make the video inside sitting with the puppies absolutely no way that was going to happen so um move back outside you can see the little chunk monsters here i'm out here with all six of them in the in the play area and what's really surprised me i know this is really obvious but just how big they've gotten look at that they're absolutely massive so the other dogs you can hear them in the background they're obviously very interested in them um they're all behind me at the moment they're trying to get a bit of shade uh which is normal they've never been in this play, play area before you can see them here absolute little little beauties but the one thing i would say is that mom has been really unbelievable but she's also been struggling recently she's got a rash where she's been feeding which i'll show you now in a second which is really really painful for you it's just been an eye opener for me to see how much of a toll it takes on her body she's she's absolutely exhausted but she just keeps on going and to see her I'm gonna go up and, and have a little look at her now. The puppies will all come along screaming behind me, but she's up trying to get a bit of a break. She's up at the house up here in our new play area. Bowie! I've managed to capture Bowie, and what I wanted to show you was the rash that she's got on her stomach. You can see that her rash from where the puppies are going for her, it's, it's like they've inflamed it, and they're always at her. So she's really in constant pain. So it's such a tough, tough time for her and that's why she's avoiding them at the moment. But we supplement her food with goat's milk and she has been incredibly good and patient. I've never seen her snap once at the puppies, but you can see that they're just following her around nonstop. Like wherever she goes, they go. So she's like a little Pied Piper with her little uh, troop following behind her, but it really has taught me to appreciate what the moms go through when they're having the puppies. Like, can you imagine them growing up in the wild and mom having like, we, we bring her food, we bring her fresh water, we clean up after her, we bring her fresh towels. Like she's got all of that here at Happy Doggerland, but when she's out in the wild, like many of them are, 
they have none of that, like absolutely none. So it's unimaginably tough for, for the moms out there. And that's why most of them don't survive, but she's got six beautiful puppies. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you about their names. I'm just gonna go and get mom and tell her what we're gonna call the little babies. Now I'm out here on Hope Avenue. On a slightly more serious note to the puppies, you can probably see why we don't have puppies here. I mean, I'm trying to film this video and they've, like it's it's chaos if you think of those puppies they have everything here everything they could ever want you know medicine food water but in the wild they have none of that and that's a horrible life trust me if if one or two of those six puppies survived in the wild it would be doing well they get hit by cars they get eaten by snakes or you know bitten by snakes they get attacked by other dogs they get diseases they get malnutrition you name it those puppies would be up against it so our job is really to sterilize as many dogs as possible and we've just sterilized our 23rd thousand two, 23 thousand dogs just dropped off little rows today um, to sterilization and that's so as she living on the street doesn't have to go through this and it doesn't multiply the problem over and over again so the puppies are cute they're amazing i'm going to go back in and see them now uh, and finish off this video and tell you about their names and all the other great things that is are happening with them and the struggles that mom has had but the less puppies we have the better now we've moved up to a better place this is probably the hardest video I've ever filmed, trying to herd six puppies in and mom into one video, but she's nice and cool up there. Now I wanted to tell you about the names. Really, really hard, because there's six puppies, um, five females and one male. And one interesting thing is actually, as Thailand and some other countries, not many people are interested in the female puppies. They mainly want uh, males. So one male and five females is, is gonna be hard to get adopted, but we're definitely gonna try. But in terms of their names, we're going with drinks names. Now I expect people will change these. When we've got six, it's nice to have an easy name. Like we had the Spice Girls, the Kardashians, but I couldn't think of five females and a male. So we're going with drinks names. So what we've got is Pepsi. Uh, we've got another black one here, which is called Coke. Uh, so Pepsi and Coke. Then I've got the white one, which is Sprite, uh, just here. Now, if I reach back behind me, I've got the male, which is uh, iced tea. Um, and then the last one I've got is Dr. Pepper. Uh, so that's pepper, cola, pepper, Sprite, iced tea. Uh, what's the other one? Pepsi and Guinness. Yes, Guinness, there is a, a Guinness one. So I think this is gonna be Guinness. I, I don't drink, but I thought we might as well put an alcohol one in there and he definitely does look like a pint of Guinness, or she. So, lovely, a baby Guinness, if anybody knows that. It's a, it's a little um, it's a little shot that you can drink. So five, five names there that are gonna be really good. So just to explain what's gonna happen next for the puppies. They can't leave mom, They've, they're four weeks old now, but we're gonna keep them here for another five or six weeks until they're fully developed. Take the pressure off mom as much as possible. Like you can see her, she's loving her rest up there. We've kept them away from the other dogs because even though the other dogs are, are very nice, um, they can, they're always screeching. I'm grabbing one behind me. Even though the other dogs are very nice, what could happen is you could just have um, somebody snap at them, somebody stand on them by mistake. Somebody like Rusty, who's the nicest dog ever, could go running past and squash his little face. So they're only in with mom. I can't explain how hard it's been for her. Just watching her up close, like she's like a, when we washed her yesterday, she's like a rake underneath that. She's just skin and bones. They've literally sucked the life out of her, these little puppies. But they wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. So she's done an amazing job considering she was on the streets. And I don't think they're gonna to be too hard to adopt. Are they Sprite? So yeah, it's a bit of a chaotic video. One thing that you could do that would help us massively is if you could like the video or subscribe. Subscribe really, really does help. But I just wanted to introduce you to them. Um, they'll be around for another few weeks until we get them homes. They're all getting quite hot now, so they want to just crawl into their little corner on the cement and get as cold as possible with mum overlooking them, taking a little breath. Life is good for the puppies. Life is good. Uh, they're going to have a, some milk now and then they're going to have a big sleep.